Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna show you three awesome effects text effects uh, namely the neon effect the extrude or 3d effect and the fire effect they're so very simple to create okay they're all being accomplished through the text shadow property uh, so before I show you the effects it'll be good if I actually explain how the uh, text shadow property actually works now have a look at this picture people uh, the text shadow property has one two three and four arguments the first one or values the first one is the X offset or shift along the X axis then we have the Y offset or the shift along the Y axis then we have the blur value and uh, in the end we have the shadow color right so and uh, the good news is that you can apply multiple text shadows they just like in CSS3 it's a CSS uh, it's, it's a part of CSS3 people just like with background images we can use uh, multiple background images comma separated here we can use uh, and just like box shadow can be comma separated we can have text shadows comma separate multiple text shadows are possible All right so um, in fact uh, let me change this name to effects and let me just copy this name out here that'll make more sense yep uh, yeah so so I was saying that we can have multiple uh, text shadows just like we can have multiple box shadows possible right now I'm using code pen dot io it's an online editor it's absolutely free people you have a premium subscription too uh, but for you know for demonstrating uh, such a simple example I really uh, uh, you know a, a free subscription is suffice it's really effective code pen is really effective um, this is the preview pane people this is the HTML area this is the CSS area let's examine the first effect the 3d effect or the extrude effect so, so very simple I can write it all over again but I don't think so I actually need to it's so very simple it's so very the code is so very little people I, I can just explain it verbatim I'm absolutely sure see we have an h1 element uh, which has a class of effects and then I have my name out here okay and then we close the uh, h1 element out here this is the area where you write your CSS that's why I really love code pen you know to demonstrate the uh, uh, simple tutorials like this it's really effective really quick see I've I've attached some. Uh, you have the body tag out here. I've attached some rules. I've uh, made sure that I have a you know I have a margin or a cushion of 20 pixels all around. Uh, top right, bottom and left. And so this is the the margin shortened property. Instead of saying margin uh, top 20 px, margin right 20 px, margin bottom 20 px, and margin left 20 px, I can simply say margin 20 px then I've used the background short property I simply love using short hands people short and CSS the tutorial uh, the one before that was on CSS short and start using short people instead of using background color notice that I've used just background it's, it's, it's uh, the short and property people and I've uh, made sure that the, the body has a background color of black and show that the, the background is darker than your font color that you know the font color and the uh, text color right and there you have this class effects that has been attached to the H the only element on the page H1 um, so the color for the the font uh, we have chosen is uh, uh, hash uh, 333 it's a darkest shade and uh, you see I've, again I've used the font shot property I made sure that my font is bold uh, the font size is 68 px and it's Palatino Linotype. People, whenever you're using the shortened property, make sure that the order is uh, followed as is. It's extremely important to follow the order. Also, remember that the uh, font size 
and the uh, font family these are compulsory although this is not if I omit any of these two the font family or the font size the font shot property won't work follow the order as is don't uh, you know uh, don't uh, jumble up the order please alright this is the uh, text color or the font color as we have already discussed and then the text shadow people uh, X displacement, Y displacement, blur and the color and gives you this nice 3D effect I'm gonna change this effect to the neon effect now see uh, I'm just gonna copy paste uh, the code I'm actually using multiple shadows out here to create the neon effect you don't even need to know how this was actually done uh, please request and I'll uh, uh, in fact what you can do is you can go to my website uh, qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads one and you can get all the effects quality lessons dot net forward slash uh, downloads one dot html yep you can go out here people and uh, people and you can actually uh, grab a file called effects.css and I'll ha have ma I'll make sure that all the three effects are there the text shadow you know the neon effect the extrude effect the 3d effect that is that we are just seeing right now and the fire effect that I'm gonna show you in a moment let's start with the neon effect now so just change you know I beg your pardon just change the text shadow and uh, I'm gonna paste something new out here alright that's the neon effect for you people let me just remove this bit make it even more clear yep so uh, at the same time it will help to change the color of the font to white yep so that's the neon effect people right so I have the same uh, font bold 68 px palatino linotype color FFF and text shadow whatever whatever basically you see I've comma separated my text shadows right and as I said I'll bundle up the uh, effects.css and uh, it'll be available as a free download for you to uh, download from my website and the third effect the fire effect let me show that to you as well this is the third one comma uh, separated values people let me just say copy and uh, let's replace the text shadow value and uh, as you can very clearly see out here in fact let me uh, increase the uh, margin to let's say a 50 px right oh there you go that's the uh, fire effect alrighty so people uh, as promised um, I'll bundle up the CSS file for you to download from my website uh, qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads one I hope you like the uh, like the three effects that were created uh, using CSS3 people get into the habit of using CSS3 and HTML5 as much as possible very soon you know it'll be a reality that they'll be compatible with all the browsers shouldn't be more than a year or two and uh, you know use them as a bonus so if you see the effect it's a thumbs up if you don't see the the effect it's still okay people can actually see the text they should not lose the text so you're not losing anything use it as a bonus people start using CSS3 as much as possible you know you'll set your web page on fire your web page will be on steroids trust me um, if you like the tutorial people please thumb it up please subscribe if you still haven't and I will also hope that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day bye bye peace